Hello everyone, we are we here, and today I want to talk to you about one tick signals. Now I know I did a video about one tick signal when I just started with my YouTube channel. This video sucks. Seriously, don't watch it. I was just starting with Redstone and I didn't know what I was doing. I think I might delete it, but anyway, this is one of the uh, one tick signal creator, like a uh, Paul Stradineer or something like that pulsar i don't know and you flick you press this button and only a one tick goes by to this piston which makes the piston leave the block behind but i want to make i wanted to make a one wide design but there is already something like that so here it is press the button press it again press it press it so what I did is that I made a stackable design. Now before I show you my design, let me uh, demonstrate to you how those designs work. This design is pretty simple actually. You press the button, the signals go through here, through this block and to the piston. But one tick later, the piston pushes the block and so the block is not there anymore. So only one tick managed to go through the block. Here is also pretty simple. I press the button. Well, after one tick, this torch gets turned on. So one tick and another one tick, it's turned on. And then three ticks, which mean uh, after three ticks from the I press the button, it turns off again because this turns it off. It gives him a signal again. So I press the button and it's only on for one tick. Now, let me show you my design. This is my design. Pretty compact and with no redstone, so it's stackable. One click and only one tick comes through. Okay, so let me explain you how it works. When I press the button, uh, this uh, the signal goes through the storage and deactivates this after three ticks. And down here, this goes one tick. One tick takes for the piston to push up, and so the sand gets here two ticks later. And this turns off three ticks, so the uh, signal managed to go through for one tick before this turns off. As you can see. You can also make this repeater on the first delay, and now what will happen is that when you press the button, the, uh, the signal won't go through because it two ticks takes the sin to get here and two ticks gets uh, this to turn it off. But when you turn on off the signal, I mean if I were to push the lever, now nothing will happen. But when I flick the lever back, this will get one tick. One tick takes for the block to pull back and another one tick takes for the sand to fall. So three ticks takes the sand to fall, and two ticks take for that to re uh, to give power again. Got one, two. So when I flip it back, a one tick signal will go through. So you can actually control when will the signal come, when the power goes from power to unpower or from unpowered to power. Now, if you make to this design a few little adjustments, you can easily turn it to a dual edge lever, which means a lever that if I'll press, if I'll turn from unpowered to powered, will give uh, a button, p a power like a button, and the other side as well. How this works is basically you go through here, and when I flick this from powered to unpowered, Oops, wait. When I flick it from power to outbar, this piston is gonna fire. So, let me. You saw? Because of this repeater. And then the power goes through here. And this piston is going to fire. So, every time you flick the lever, no matter what state it is, it gives a small power. Okay, so let's, let's build it. Put a block here, 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 and here, something like that. Your button slash lever will be here, technically. 
but I want to demonstrate. Uh, oops, your button will be he okay. Your button will be here. I'll demonstrate them both. Your button will be here, and the lever will be here. Put a torch. Now, I'll demonstrate the pulse charge here first. So put a uh, one tick repeater here, and two tick repeater here. Place a sticky piston, block, sand, and well, that's it. Now, if I'll press the button, only one tick will go through this block of sand. Your output will actually come here, or here, or wherever adjacent to this block. Like this. Now, if you want to make it a dull edge uh, lever, place a piston here, block above it, block here, two tick repeater here. Sticky piston going down in here. Block, block, block. Uh, redstone torch and repeater on the two second delay. Or if you want a one tick signal on the first delay. And now every time I'll pl uh, pull the lever, you'll see. Oh, what have I? Ah, this repeater needs to be on the first delay. Sorry. Okay. So now, every time I flick the lever. One of the pistons here is going to fire and give us a short pulse. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I hope you liked it.